Well, all right, here we are with uh, Dr. Davis from McQuan in Wisconsin. Dr. Davis, hi, how are you doing? Hi, I'm just fine, thank you. How are you? Good. Dr. Davis, um, let me ask you. Um, today, you know, you're, you're a medical doctor and you, you, you're dealing with people who are, you know, obviously the normal people, uh, your fa family practitioner, I think. Is that correct? No, actually I'm not. I am both an internist, a board certified, and a board certified pre uh, pediatrician. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. What those particular things do, an internist versus a family practitioner? And then I know you also deal in, um, uh, in, uh, in uh, cosmetic dermatology. Uh, tell us a little bit about how your practice runs and which type of people you can help. Uh, I help all kinds of people uh, of all ages. Uh, typically, an internist and a pediatrician uh, takes care of a little bit sicker patients than a general practitioner, but I do take care of all patients. And my main goal, uh, I think, and the main message that I have out to patients is that it's better to take care of yourself when you're well than wait until it's broken. But um, I try to get patients to focus on wellness and to realize that it's better to catch something early than wait until they are very ill because then it's much harder to fix. And I also, also have a medical spa that's connected with my practice that uh, takes care of cosmetic issues, but not necessarily only cosmetic issues. We have a very grave uh, great focus on skin care, be it acne or taking care of the quality of the skin uh, to keep it young and healthy looking. We want people to look and feel their best at all times, whether it be good quality supplements, both for skin care and for health of the body. Uh, we also do such things as, uh, I'm also considered a cosmetic physician and surgeon as well as a medical doctor for regular medicine care. So my practice is really quite broad and it keeps it very interesting and keeps my patients very healthy. I always tell my patients, well, sometimes you take better care of your car than you do of yourself. So it's, it's a focus so that they can stay healthy and look and feel their best. And I think that's a very important point that I try to impress on them, whether it be parents taking care of their children or the adults taking care of themselves. I can see that, uh, because very obviously, um, it, you know, basically I have heard that, and tell me whether that's uh, true at all. You know, as we get older and, you know, our skin gets... Uh, you know, wrinkled and it gets brown spots and uh, whatever, it becomes a sagging skin. Well, you know, obviously we start looking ugly. So ugly and getting old looks like it's getting together, but at the same token, that can be called, uh, some people obviously get, so to say, ugly and old a lot earlier than other ones, which really is a health problem. Uh, so looking good is a health problem. A person with a shiny, pinky skin he's obviously more healthy even in the liver and the kidney and in all kinds of stuff so it's not like when you have a, an, an ugly skin that it is necessarily only the skin which has a problem it's the internal organs which have a problem why we outside not look so good I mean is there anything to that? Oh absolutely you know the skin is the largest organ of your body and a lot of times Something that's wrong on the inside is often reflected on the outside of your body. And even children, I'll tell them, or even adults, well, I wear a T-shirt when I'm out in the sun, and I say, well, do you know it, a T-shirt only has an SPF of 4 to 7? And they said, no, I had no idea. So you're going to get sun damage even underneath the T-shirt. So we go into these kinds of wellness issues to help them prevent damage even to the skin. So as well as it being uh, an issue of an expression of the health of your inside of your body, it also prevents further damage later on. Wonderful. So 
We're going to go and do a series of, um, of, of uh, little interviews and questions about different illnesses, different symptoms, um, and different treatments so that people basically can find out uh, what they probably call frequently asked questions, like the things you always wanted to know about a doctor. Uh, but now, for now, um, let's leave it at that. Um, uh, we know what your purpose of the pro uh, your practice is, and um, in subsequent videos, we're going to go into detailed uh, illnesses, symptoms, and treatments. Is that all right with you, doctor? Sure. Wonderful. Well, bye-bye for now. Bye. Thank you.